All right, track number 14, Fallen. Well, who is he falling for? What is he falling for? Let's find out. Woke up not feeling this morning. Last night she packed her things up, I watched her leave. I read the note that you left out on the counter. Still hear your voice inside my head, it cuts deep. Now I'm free more than you can say. I've lost a part of me. Now I'm free and you're not catching me. Cause it wasn't meant to be. Turns out. She don't wanna talk now. She's not a surgeon, but she really took my heart out. Love sick, got me feeling nauseous. Give you my mind and you won't fill it up with nonsense. I guess you made up your mind. I know what I could tell by the look in your eyes. I, I, I woke up not feeling. Yeah, I absolutely love the beat, bro. That guitar. I love guitar beats, man. This is honestly just so amazing. And Ian Dior, bro, what the hell was that range? That vocal range, bro. He was just like, Wee! Yo, what the hell are you doing? God damn. Let's just keep going. This morning, last night she packed her things up. I watched her leave. I read the note that you left out on the counter. Still hear your voice inside my Wow. wow okay that was track number 14 fallen i'm gonna put that in the great tier that was that was actually magical holy shit i asked one first of all Ian Dior's vocal range on that, he just blew my mind. And I love these guitar beats, man. And just like the harmonization and everything on that song was just beautiful. So I'm going to put that on my great tier. Last song of the album, Hopeless Romantic, featuring Travis Barker. Let's see how the album ends. But I absolutely loved it. This was just like a treat for us, man. God damn. Let's just jump right into this one. Wherever we go. Sorry, and you're back for this last track. I like it. Let's keep going.
Okay then. That is the end of On To Better Things by Ian Dior. That last track, I honestly really did like. Uh, catchy wise, maybe repeating wise, I wouldn't have it in the great section. Definitely in the good section though, I absolutely love that track. And yeah, everything about this album was pretty interesting. It was kind of just like him pouring out his emotions and everything like that, you know? And yeah, let's just quickly go into what I put into the great section. So track number one in the great section, track number two, track number three, eight, 12, 13, and 14 was in the great section for me personally. Those ones I would probably have on repeat for probably a little longer, like a little while or something like that. And in the tier number two, which was the good section, track number four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and fifteen. Those were songs that I honestly really did mess with. Uh, maybe not as catchy, maybe not as repetitive that I would like put it on repeat and stuff like that for that much. But I really did mess with that song, those songs. And on the fence was nothing at all because this this album was just beautiful, man. Ian Dior again, his vocals. He's really honestly just like practice on that for me personally. I feel like he did really like practice like his vocal ranges and uh, and the beats on this album were honestly just fire. That shit was just so good. And yeah, I honestly just loved everything about this album. That was just a beautiful album. Grading wise, I would definitely give that a green. That would be a... Pfft. A fire album that's the check 10 out of 10 but yeah that is the end of this album reaction but if you want to check out more heat by ian dior then i suggest you watch this video right over here